Hey, welcome to my channel. You might be wondering why am I not showing my face today. Unfortunately, I'm seriously ill and have caught COVID for the third time. I'm not in the best shape right now, but I really want to keep this channel going. I tried using an AI voice, but it just didn't sound right. I'm not in the best shape right now. Hopefully, my voice doesn't sound too rough now. Anyway, today I'll be assembling an older kit, the High Grade Force Impulse Gundam. Before I get started, I gotta give a special thanks to Agama Hobby for the collaboration. Agama Hobby is a hobby store in Toronto, and they offer model kits, hobby tools, and paints. If you didn't already know, they've relocated to a larger location, where they are now offering a wider range of classes and workshops. Feel free to drop by during the office hours. The build tables are open to customers free of charge. This is a straight boat, and all I did was painting the yellow V on the chest instead of using that sticker. I'll show you guys later in the video. I really can't take this ugly sticker. I'm glad I repainted it. It looks like there are a lot of stickers, but the large red pieces are mostly for the four silhouette. There are two shoe variations. I'll probably stick with the slide open version. The silhouette flyer and course blender are both in white color. Depending on whether you want to display them or not, they can actually look really nice after being painted. Force Impulse Gundam originally appeared in Gundam Seed Destiny, and it also appears in Gundam Seed Freedom as a renewed Force Impulse Gundam spec too. From what I know, Bandai has only issued the real grade Force Impulse Gundam spec 2 so far, but not the high grade version. But you can simply convert this high grade to a spec 2 in a movie by applying the G rework decal and change to a darker color scheme.
The rifle can be stored at the back. If you're thinking about getting a Force Impulse Gundam, I strongly suggest choosing the real grade version for a better build. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Your feedback is always appreciated. So feel free to leave a comment below. I hope I'll recover soon and be back in the next video. See you then.